Removable retainers come in two types, a thin, clear and discreet one, which we call an Essex retainer, that look like these. These are the more common types of retainers that your orthodontist will provide. They look similar to a thin sports mouth guard. The other type of retainer is a Hawley's retainer, which look like these. You may remember these if you've had braces before. They consist of a plastic plate that fits into your palate on your top teeth or near your tongue on your bottom teeth. They also have a metal wire, which we call a bow, um, which runs around your front teeth and clips onto your back teeth. Both of these retainers are custom made for you. After your treatment, your orthodontist will scan or take molds of your teeth to make them and they will fit your teeth perfectly. Your orthodontist will then advise you on the wear regime for you, which can vary, but it will normally be a minimum of wearing them um, every night for the first year, followed by two to three nights per week for life. Okay, so I have my retainers here. Yes, I still wear them years after removing my braces. Your retainers will normally feel tight when you first wear them, um, a bit like a new shoe, but the more you wear them, the more comfortable they will feel. It's easy to tell which is the top and which is the bottom just by looking at the front of them and the shapes of the teeth. So I'm going to show you how to wear the retainers. Um, essentially, you're gonna put them in and you push them up with your fingers. This is the most important thing to remember um, when putting them in. Um, what you don't want to do is bite down on them as this can actually break the retainers. You may find that you produce a lot of saliva when you first wear them, which is perfectly normal. And you may also have a slight lisp the first time you wear them for a few days, which again does improve with time. We are not lisping. So I'm now going to show you how you take the retainers out. To take the retainers out, you put your fingers in at the back of your mouth and pull the retainer down from the back initially and then ease it round at the front. Some of the top advice I can give you is to make sure you store your retainers safely. They can be very expensive to replace, so you don't want to lose them. The necklace of unknown retainers. If you have a dog, please keep them away from your retainers. The most common reason my patients come to see me for new retainers is because their dogs have chewed them. So keep them in a box. Um, locked in a room or somewhere high up. Sometimes a dog can still get to them even if they're in a box. Whatever type of retainer you have, you need to make sure you clean them with lukewarm water, not hot water, um, because they are made of plastic and they will distort if they're exposed to heat. Please stay tuned for the next video in which I'll be talking all about fixed retainers. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'd love to hear all about your experiences with retainers. Do you have a retainer? What type of retainer do you have? please let me know. And I'd also like to hear any questions you have as well. I promise I'll get back to you. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.